Hey everyone, it's Anthony Onesto and this is my daily burst of knowledge for Monday, February 13th, uh, one day before uh, Valentine's Day. So I've um, been thinking, uh, I had a recent conversation around uh, compensation, particularly bonus structures, right? So uh, the question was, do we really think um, compensation structures that include this, this carrot uh, actually work? Um, and you know, I, I've, I've said for many times, I think what happens is when you have a compensation structure, whether it's a sales structure or a bonus structure, that people figure out how to game the system. So you don't get the end result that you're asking for, and especially if you subscribe to Dan Pink's um, methodology in, in the book Drive, right? It's, 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 it's actually, they studied it and said it didn't work, this carrot and this sticking carrot uh, idea in compensation. So he talks about this. Um, this idea of pay paying market rates on salary and then hitting three things, which were uh, autonomy, purpose, and mastery, and that those three things combined. And again, you have to make sure you're hitting market rates, but if you can fulfill a strong sense of purpose, uh, mastery where someone maybe is learning new things or getting better at what they do, and a certain le level of autonomy, then that is the way uh, compensation should be structured. So uh, it's interesting. I mean, there's a lot of things in HR that are being re-looked at, um, which is is really exciting because we know a lot of stuff hasn't hasn't worked so uh, so when you think about compensation think about you know is it is it just better to pay a good base salary um, and even maybe even better than market rate uh, and then pull back on the bonus um, and and see if that works as long as again you're hitting those three uh, th those three things in, in terms of mastery autonomy and, and purpose so that's my daily burst for today we'll see you tomorrow thanks